Very quickly, I wanted to share with you just how far computing has come. The computer I am sitting in front of is about 11 years old, and it was one of the cheapest computers you could get. In fact, let me run a program and see if it gives me a vague idea of how old it really is. Uh, yeah. Okay, this cute little thing right here. Acer Aspire 1, um, I don't know, AO532H. I don't remember the exact model that that really is. But this this cute little Acer Aspire 1, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that with me beside it. Jesus, I'm so big compared to this teeny computer. Like, it's this cute little 10-inch computer from, uh, well, the BIOS date is 2011, but it may predate that. I'm pretty sure it's older than that. So, 2011, um, an Atom N450 chip, and uh, let me try to get it to where you can see it. Atom N450 chip. Right, this thing is weak. Um, two gigs of RAM maximum, and what I have on here is Windows 7 Pro, was it 32-bit? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 32-bit. Yeah, it's 32-bit. Um, but I'm about to use this to do a remote, uh, like a like an exam thing. This thing was weak when it was new. But here's the trick. This, this beauty right here, what I've done is this has a 240 gig SATA solid state drive in it. So now, even though this thing is like the tiniest little computer ever, it's going to get me through something. Um, for various reasons, I can't use my main computers right now. Just it, it, empty room. I mean, what do you want me to do? Look, there's like nothing. There's nothing in here right now. It's empty. Uh, no, I mean, whatever. It's an old computer. It's a really old, weak, slow computer. It, it's like, I think it's actually single core or single core hyper-threaded. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, if you can see Task Manager there, that bad boy is single core with hyper-threading. Yep. Uh, so it's it's one of the first 64-bit laptop, 64-bit cap uh, capable laptop Intel Atom chips from the late 2000s, very early 2010s, perhaps. Two gigs of RAM, um, and with the latest Firefox, it's, it's going to get the job done. Now think about that. Ten-year-old PCs, and these things are still viable. The screen's tiny, but it works. With a solid-state drive, it's like a whole new machine. Now, I can't get Windows 10 to run on it correctly because Windows 10 and video drivers and all that, I have the video, the arrow acceleration turned off on this one. But just, just think about that. It's amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you. That you can take computers that are 10 years old and still use them for modern things. This thing's going to be running a webcam and a microphone, and I'm going to be doing web browser stuff. Yeah, just thought that you'd appreciate that. Anybody who has seen all my computer stuff knows I love old computers. And I'm going to use this computer that was dirt cheap 10 years ago to do some new stuff. It's going to be wonderful. Have a wonderful day. I know I am. Take care.